made it. So I've been hyper fixated on Nijira maids for a little over a month now, and during my time drooling over my keyboard, I've come to the realization that nobody's made a three hour long video essay on Nijira maids, which is very confusing to me. Very <laughs> Yaku is a pretty popular character, every crazy whacked out internet autist knows about her and her fan music's fairly known, so it's always been a surprise to hear that people don't know about Nijira maids, and for the few people that do know are really only aware about the most popular ones like Yaku and Iya. The lore is not that crazy, they are net characters meaning nothing is technically canon, every maid has their own set design and personality and people can build upon that in any way they want and people can add any new maids that they want. The world is your oyster. This means that there are potentially hundreds of maids out there that have never seen the light of day. It'd be impossible to go through all of them, so uh, without further ado, allow me to introduce to you... Nishira Maids. やらないかの発祥の地として有名な画像掲示板です。2001年20ラ版にてある匿名ユーザーが自分だけのメイドが欲しいという夢を抱き、メイドさんというメイドが誕生した。その名はめんどくさい。その名の通り何事にもめんど
by the looks of it, they're just some fan mates made by someone on Pixiv. I'm a really big Watchmen fan, and I actually learned this recently, but there's a Rorschach maid named Daku Nishi named Daku Shinai-san, which translates to Do Not Compromise. Please go read Watchmen, it's really fucking good. Lullaby Son is really cool, she can shred on a loop. <laughs> Dore Son, which roughly translates to Slave, is the only dark-skinned maid, and because of the drugs she used in her life, she is small and resistant to most drugs. She does not menstruate and is unable to bear children. It has been rumored that she was seen during the construction of Always the pyramid with a blank gaze, devoid of emotion. She thinks that she is just a thing. Her slave-like behavior may cause her to behave in ways that are strange to some ordinary people. Oh dear, would you look at the time? It's time to boot up Mugen and break the fuck out of my computer with Dragon Tear Cheapies. <laughs> Nijikaku is a Mugen community project containing a massive list of characters originating from Tuchan. Mugen, if you don't know, is a fighting game engine, lots of custom characters, very cool. It includes the primary maids, plus a bunch of others, some being exclusive to Nijikaku. I won't name all of them, but a few of the maids that stood out to me is Jorai-san. She has a pretty cool gothic design and some sweet moves. The honorary maids are also really neat. I love all of them, especially Chibi-Yami. She has a very cute sprite. Shiharai, Kasugai, Kikai are all really cool and fun maids to play as, and especially Yakui. I wish there was more information on some of these lesser known maids in Nijikaku because they all have great designs and movesets, but as mentioned before, these maids don't necessarily have a cannon, so feel free to fire your own head cannons, I guess. Maidcore is a very interesting term. Most of the music that has been playing in this video is derived from a very specific genre of music called Maidcore. Now if you're someone that actually contributes to society, you might be wondering what the fuck a Maidcore is and why it sounds so good. It's a pretty niche genre that originated from Russia. It's not a very easy thing to define, so I'll just read off the Maidcore VK page description like a fucking re- Maidcore is a genre started by various musicians who inhabited the identities of the maids and make music revolving their characters. The genre of music each of these artists create vary for the most part, but you can just describe it as Russian post-punk, emo, and electronic music. I guess. Obviously not every maid has her own fan music, there's just way too many maids for there to be an artist for everyone, but even still, there's a surprisingly large supply of maid core to choose from. I'm not the most musically literate person, and I definitely don't have the most interesting taste in music, but in all honesty, I think everyone should at least give maid core a chance. I know it's a bit of a goofy genre, but these maidcore artists are genuinely talented and deserve the love. Yakui and Chiko, I think, are the best places to start if you want to get into maidcore. They are one of the most popular maidcore artists for a reason, but you can also go check out some of the playlists found on the VK page. There's plenty of great tracks you can find on there. Of course, these artists do reside in Russia, and because of that, I don't believe they're making any money off their music at the moment, which fucking sucks if that's the case. But most of them do post regularly on their VK pages, and Yakui's also been streaming on Twitch apparently, so it's nice to know that they're doing okay. Go let Yakui know, I said. No privet. I may or may not be emotionally attached to Maidcore, and I'm not saying that as a joke. I know that sounds like a joke, but I'm serious. Uh, I identify with a lot of music that acts like a second mouth. Uh, for lack of a better term, and there's a lot of tracks I found in the entire genre that kind of expresses a level of emotion that I don't exactly know how to articulate. This applies to many other similar artists and subgenres in the post-punk shit rock emo scene that's out there, but Maidcore is like a forgotten language which I can understand but can't translate, which saying that out loud I feel like a piece of shit and I've had my clone in front of me I'd probably just fucking- But I'm being as honest as honest gets, Maidcore is genuinely incredible. Communicating that somber, depressive, yet comforting and familiar feeling is an extremely difficult thing to accomplish without making it feel forced and pretentious. A lot of these weird subgenres and aesthetics suffer from feeding way too much into the aesthetic and just end up being flavorless. Maidcore doesn't feel that way though. This may just be because of how specific of a subgenre this is, and I'm probably just reading way too much into it, but these artists making Maidcore music know what they're making and accomplish at making something that feels authentic. Yaku is the most popular artist, yet again, but it's like that for a reason. Yakui makes amazing stuff and is arguably the best maidcore artist, but some of my favorite that I think you should definitely check out is Chikoi, Yokai, Ozoi, and Itai. Definitely the best ones in my opinion, including Yakui. But yeah, that's Nijira Maids. Definitely not the most convoluted thing in the world, but it's totally epic based in Kino and will forever be a staple of Tuchan. Thank you Russia for maidcore. Hail Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Yeah, I'm